Hello, my name is Dylan Devino and this is Clayton Carini. We're the co-founders of Modern Age Marketing LLC. We're a company that specializes in web design, web flow, and we love web flow, let me tell you. We love web flow. <laughs> and we also love SEO. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about uh, the comparison between Shopify and Webflow, uh, where does Shopify lack and where does it really have strengths, and the same with Webflow, uh, what is Webflow great at, and also what are some of the problems that Webflow has. Yeah, so we really, yeah, we really wanted yeah. to focus on e-commerce uh, in context of this video. Uh, Webflow is amazing at a lot of stuff. Uh, Shopify really is, uh, it's an e-commerce platform, that's what they really focus on. Right. It's not as much about the website, it's about what you can actually do with the website for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to keep uh, in terms of what are the e-commerce capabilities of both platforms. Definitely. Yeah, so let's just start out with Webflow. So um, what is Webflow great for and then where are some of the lacking features in Webflow? Yeah, uh, so if you are going to make a website, you're trying to sell something, and you want it to be really custom to your brand and be really beautiful, uh, Webflow is a fantastic solution. Uh, anything that you can imagine, you can you know pretty much just embody your brand, and instead of fitting your brand into a template, on a Shopify website, you're able to create it yourself, mm. uh, which can increase the um, the value of the user experience. Really yeah, so Webflow has got a lot of customization options. You're not working off a template necessarily. You yes. could start something completely from scratch, yeah. blank slate, and then match it to what your brand feel is and have a unique custom site. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. Um, where might Webflow lack, and does Webflow make a great um, a great platform for an e-commerce store selling products. Yeah, uh, it really does depend on what you want to do with uh, with your products. If you are selling just a couple of products, or maybe selling things digitally, uh, like standard operating procedures or like NFTs, for God's sake, and you know could be anything. Uh, for something digital, or you're selling a few physical products, it's really fantastic because you get all those advantages of having something really custom. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, there aren't as many features, but though, when it comes to selling on Webflow. Uh, if you have a couple things, it's really great. If you have too much stuff that you're trying to sell, it gets really difficult to start managing a lot of your products. And that's where kind of some of the issues come in. That's uh, fair. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with the, the back end as well, uh, for custom shipping labels, for example, being able to automatically generate shipping weights, uh, being able to make new categories for products, uh, it's just a little bit more of a hassle. It doesn't have the same feature set as another platform like Shopify or WooCommerce would have. Okay, and if you wanted to use Webflow, would it be possible or do you think it's not even worth a shot? Um, what is kind of the limit of Webflow? If I had a product with 10, 10 products, um, if a store with 10 products, sorry, hmm. could I use Webflow or maybe if I had 20 products, should I use Webflow? What, what do you think the limit is? <laughs> if you're selling something that's digital, then by all means go crazy with Webflow. If you're doing some stuff with physical items, I really wouldn't go, if you're using strictly Webflow, I wouldn't go anywhere over maybe 20, 30 products. And that it's probably going to get a little bit too hard to manage. And especially if you have problems with shipping and you're not calculating your own shipping by hand, it's a little bit more of a hassle. So I wouldn't okay. highly recommend it. All right, let's segue into yeah. Shopify. So yeah. Shopify obviously is you know the biggest e-commerce platform out there. It's got some of the best systems in place for selling a lot of products online. Uh, bulk products, it's got amazing templates that have great navigation, great user experience, and uh, the templates can definitely do the job, I would say. Yeah, but and, and anyone, anyone can work off of a template. Your granddad can go and pick up a Shopify template and sell whatever he wants to sell, and it's going to look pretty decent. Uh, all it takes is picking out a template, adding your products, doing a little bit of customization on what categories those products fall into, and then just typing some of your your, uh, mm. your brand messages onto right. those, the sections. And that's really it. It's all you need. So Shopify is awesome for throwing something up and having it really uh, provide all of the use cases that you might need for selling a lot of products online. Yeah. So for someone that can't either can't afford to do something really super professional, uh, or are they just want something that's really easy, it's not going to be a lot of hassle to set up. Shopify is a fantastic option. Okay, and where might Shopify lack? Uh, what are the, some of the problems with Shopify? Yeah, so one of the reasons you can't really just do a full website on Shopify, it comes down to skill cap. So the floor of how much talent that you need to actually make a Shopify website is very low. As I said, your granddad could do it. Uh, it's really easy to get in, but at a certain point you hit a bit of a ceiling. Once you want to build a real platform 
a uh, place for your customers to really interact with more of your content, to you know be more of a, a space to, to maybe learn, uh, for example, uh, if you have quizzes or you have more like in-depth blog content or you, you just want to build something more than what's just purely selling products. Shopify doesn't really have those options. You're really stuck and you, you, you live and die by the template mm. when it comes to Shopify. So when you want to actually do something more, we've had clients that have been invoiced for, or they've had proposals submitted by web design companies for very large amounts of money to expand their Shopify store because there's only one way to do it and that's custom code. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to ha find someone who is a veteran coder, who has experience working within the Shopify system, uh, that also has the design talent to make something that actually looks good and functions as it should. So, so at a certain point, you're going to outgrow Shopify and you're going to basically come to a point where you want to add more content to your store, you want to add custom content, uh, you want to add new experiences like, like features such as like a quiz or something that might yeah. be completely custom. But I know personally, and I know you have too, when it comes to working in Shopify, you can't do it really. I mean, there's just no, the templates just don't provide the room for it. They don't provide the customization options and it's just not quite there. Yeah, there's no real segue from the going from a basic Shopify website, then there's a big gap. You start with your basic Shopify website. There's, n you get to a certain point, you grow, you're ready to scale and expand your online business and there's no real options except for changing to a different platform. And that can be a really big problem for a lot of businesses. Mm -hmm. You can't afford the, you know, sixty, eighty thousand dollars to go and, and custom code this, you know, website, this platform that you want to create. And it forces a lot of businesses to go to platforms that are not as palatable as Shopify or as powerful as Shopify, like WordPress. We've had clients that loved their original Shopify websites, moved over to a WordPress website after some time and growing and not feeling like they could really stay on Shopify and have regretted it dearly. It's cost them a lot of money. Mm. It has not been a pretty situation. And eventually they are able to actually switch back over. Um, if we can talk about us for a little bit, that'd be really awesome. Yeah, totally. Uh, we provide a custom solution where we bridge that gap between growing to a certain point with their Shopify store, instead of switching over to another platform like making a really you know tough to use and really inconvenient WordPress website, you can actually keep your Shopify while still building a custom site on top of that. And it's a really unique product. There's nothing really else. And like so it. we're building the, the custom site with Webflow, correct? Yeah, yeah. So so when it comes to actually, you know, obviously this video is comparing Webflow to Shopify, but you don't always need to have them, you know, they don't need to converse in any way. They can actually work together to create a fully custom site that also has the amazing benefits of Shopify's backend. So when you use these two softwares in combination, um, it provides for a really cool experience. Yes, yeah. the result is that you're able to still have, uh, for a fraction of the price, this amazing custom website that interchangeably and uh, it's just interlinked with a Shopify website. So you have the back end of Shopify and the amazing customizability of Webflow. And that is a solution you can't really get anywhere else. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that wraps up the video. Thank you so much for coming on today, Clay. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next videos. I hope you guys got some value out of this and definitely leave a comment and drop a like on the video. Uh, what do you want to learn more about? What questions do you have? We'd love to answer them. So I'll see you in the next video.